unusual signal behaviour. It can be all sorts of reasons for unusual signal behaviour, but one of those reasons is overlapping links. Overlapping links, that you're going to have that in quite a lot of situations, but there's a specific kind of overlap that should always be avoided. Here we have two signals. This one over here, with two possible routes out. And this one here, again with two possible routes out. Now, looking at that as it stands, it looks like there's nothing wrong with that signalling setup. Let's press the spacebar a few times to enable display of the signal links. Here we go. So if we go and have a look at this signal, we can see that link 0 is here. And here's its links 1, which is fine. Ah, but look at link 2. Link 2 has gone past link 0 of the other signal. That is an overlapping link. You should move this link back to the right side in terms of the direction of travel um, of link 0. So it doesn't overlap that link 0. If we check the other one, so now there's nothing overlapping here. Go back the other way and these are collected correctly here. Another thing to watch out for is to make sure that the link is actually past the junction. You can see a change in the sleeper pattern here. Here is the break in the junction. Sometimes there will be a, a red triangle um, that will illustrate where a break in the track is. I often only showed when you're in uh, loft view. That red triangle, that's the end of the junction. So I've just dragged that link and as you can see it's now in part, the link is still on part of the junction, it hasn't gone all the way past the junction. So make sure the links are always um, enclosing the junction that you're trying to protect completely.